Hello everybody, my name is Takriva, welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, playing Great Britain episode 30 in the Conquest of Paradise, 180 years almost in, just over 200, uh, no just under 200 left, so we're almost halfway through, uh, so it's going decent enough, I mean, we have the islands we need, and just going to leave the mainland of Europe alone for as long as possible. Trying to colonize every which way we can. Oh, Poetan actually decided to annex Cherokee. Well, this won't stand. So, can I not declare war? Yes, I can declare war. I feel like just gobbling up some more territory over here. Just for the heck of it. Giving Mississippi some more uh, breathing space. And maybe start threatening this French bit over there. <laughs> hmm. Actually, our natives over there. Funny. Uh, yeah, so... Currently saving up money for a mission. It should be done pretty soon. Okay, here we go. Diplomacy, declare war, show superiority. Declare it, run in, get yourself a leader. We have some revolts in Venad, of course, but we have it under control. And we're constructing the core. That should have been easy. No idea if they had any allies or not. Um, one of you, this big, well, they're both the same size. You can go to Absaluke. Yeah, the reason we can explore this territory, despite not having a conquistador, is the fact that uh, we're at war with them. Or loud. Oh, hello, now they can actually be of use. Oh, right, I'm forgetting something, which I do want to have done before Alaska becomes a full colony. Uh, Manhattan, hello, can I not... Oh, I cannot rename the city, can I? No. No, I cannot rename... Oh, we'll just rename the province to freaking New York, because that's New York. There we go. New York. Maybe it will be the capital of Alaska, which is in itself even weirder. <laughs> oh well. They were only at war with Poetan, they actually did not have any allies. So, we're probably not going to do a full reconquest because it costs a lot of uh, diplomata diplomatic power. But we'll take probably Absolute and whatever we're going to discover right now. Actually, that's a Euron next there as well. Maybe unpausing would be helpful. Oh well. Okay. Wait, what? Oh. I guess it was still stuck in trying to type. Uh, soak. Okay. Uh, nope. I want to select the army. So do not attach and do not attach, please. Uh, smugglers running rampant. I will definitely stop them. I know it costs. That's a setback for the mission, but... Yeah, I will boost stability back up instantly. 155. Uh, it wasn't that cheap. 150. 105 just now to do it, so... Not that cheap. I mean, not that expensive. Wow, 2419. Okay. Go declare war on these people. Just go ahead. Cores and claims. Well, we do ha consider that a core impressive. Probably because we took it in the war, and then it instantly cored when he gave it to our subject. So it's an odd way of it working, but yeah. I don't mind at all. Ah, we almost have Tasman completed. And st oh, actually, we have discovered Wajuk. You want to claim it, of course. Only 500 people, so... Wool, this is rather good news. Why are we more wool? Self-sustaining gives us a bit cheaper uh, colonial uh, expansion again. Aora, why are we Good. Um, I think I'm gonna remove my regular general and get our conquistador back just so we can explore the last few areas on Australia really it actually is the would actually be the only reason to spend that military power yeah it is a shame though 
you go sail in here and try and discover it. I mean, might get lucky. Oh, Gooby Gooby Gubby. That's a silly name, but it's Gubby Gubby. There we go. Let's just keep sailing up and down until we actually have discovered it. There's a random chance when you sail past it that you actually discover it, so... Why not try it? Um, suffered casualties. Yes, there it is already. Uh, Bunjalung. Um, thousand natives. Gubi Gubi. Thousand natives. Good. We've won the first siege. Absaloke. Yeah, easy war. Very easy war. Gonna try and get Absaloke at least. Maybe Sock as well. And uh, we'll instantly go to Mississippi anyway, so. Eurons do have a bigger army. Hmm, scarier. Then again. Our subjects have big armies as well. Again with the unpause forgetting. We should stop that. Oh, actually, maximum manpower at 40,000. Oh, that's scary low, I must be honest. I must say, I do like the flags that the native tribes have. It's nice and colorful. Euron, it's a turtle. Yurtle the turtle. Then we find fox. Um, Siege of Sock is over. Good job. New Governor Mississippi, what I want for you is to keep you in charge. Yeah, yeah minus 1% liberty desire. It should, well, it'd still be low that, so it didn't actually matter. I should really look at these before deciding that, so 13 colonies can definitely regain some liberty desire. So as long as they don't lose the prestige, that would then be the best option. Finad working furiously, constructing cores. Ojibwa is on its way. Eora will simply be done in three years. And we will continue with the rest of Australia and New Zealand. After that, who knows? Try and get some more islands everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the jungle for now because the AI isn't doing it either. So, there's no rush. I mean, they finally have some area over here. Portugal is busy with Madagascar. And hopelessly failing because of the aggressiveness of the natives every time. Which I don't mind at all, seeing Portugal fail. So, we're back up to the point where we were before with our money. So, that's a good thing. 10,000? Oh yes, Menominee. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I know we're losing troops, but we're not losing them faster than we regain them in manpower, so... I don't see a re... I could assault this. Nah. I still could assault this. Oh no, we don't have cannons. Then it's really not recommended to assault a fortress at all. Spy agency, I guess that will be London to build. So we shall build just keep building London despite the fact that we're trying to make money we'll re remake that money in like five months anyway and it takes 12 months to build it so it's net gain basically one available diplomat out of three improving relations we're almost Jesus they've been doing that for a long time native exploitation attempt to assuage their pain yes another two months setback but it's better for us. Oh yeah, Siege is progressing slower here because we don't have it blockaded. And that actually gives more. I could increase it in Newfoundland. Ah, there we go. Let's see, what can we get out of you? Planexation for 150. Zero for taking the, the areas. Revoking cores, um, cost 25, so I don't need that. Um, release nation Cherokee, don't need that. I don't want to protect right here, so what we're going to do is just take these two and be okay with it. You just gained that. Okay, I'm going to send you to absolute key. Mississippi, ah, Mississippi, ooh, actually, in font size, the biggest now of mine on the map. And again, oh, Newfoundland is actually finally trying to move in here. Ah, Vanette as well. Oh, everything's coming up. Britain. Um, 
This means I can send in the nuns. If you get that reference, kudos on you. Send in the nuns. Don't look it up. Just And if you do look it up, watch that whole video and be amazed at it. I promise you. I love it. But I'm not going to spoil what it is. That's up for you to find out. And uh, let's see. Our troops, our navy. Also, still making money. Oh, of course, because it's now core, it will make us more money. That's true, too. So now we actually do have a bigger stake in uh, this area. So could we not tell by Germanies to become a protectorate? Which one is that, actually? Established protectorate. Bahami opinion is too low. Okay. They are quite big, though, so it's a bit scary to do that. If you, uh, oh, by the way, if we do want an area in the Chinese region, it would definitely be... Well, Macau is originally, of course, Portuguese, but it's the only other place. Oh, hello, Castile. In there. Korea taken by Manchu. Huh. That's Makassar. Can I not ask you? to become a protectorate as well. That would be cool. Um, distance between borders, minus 41. And yeah, neutral attitude. You know what? I'm gonna try at least improve relations with you and see what happens. And these guys will soon be coming home four months. Tariffs and sugar, tax it. They gain liberty, desire, and want, no, not tax it. Give me some of your powers. That sounds even... Yeah, that sounds... <laughs> actually sounds pretty cool. Give me some of your powers. Boy Wurong is going to catch up on Aora. Of course it is. Because why wouldn't it? It has the colonist in there. After that, going for Korna. Then Bunjalung and Gooby Gooby. <laughs> Gooby Gooby. Wajuk, of course, and then we're going back to New Zealand. Finishing that before we get anyone else there. I mean, that's that's a thing, though. Eora, 849, 98 year. That's one and a half years. Actually, I think what we're going to do is stopping this one. Recalling you. Sending you in here. 619 days. They will arrive... Oh, and now that, that at that speed, I think we can actually do that as well. Um, improve relations. We'll wait one more month, and then we'll remove the one from Woi Wurong as well, and send them to Bunjalong. They won't arrive until the colonies are finished anyway. Uh, especially when they actually get that as well. Native Rising, but that's fine. Recall. Woi Wurong as well. Uh, maybe because our colonists left. But yeah, the colonists will be excellent. Trade range increase. Not that important, but it's nice. The whole thing is they won't arrive until we've actually finished the colonies here already. So why shouldn't we already send them so we don't have to wait when they're finished? They will be finished sooner, but we will now be much faster with starting the new colonists. Home from Newfoundland, soon one home from the other one as well. Sweden, how are you doing, buddy? 150. Evangelical Union, oh, that's true. Chad is good. Naval supplies will now be produced. Let's improve relations with you. Let's improve relations with France as well. Because it's France. Ah, yes, two out of one leaders. I think I can sack Horatio Blake for now. And there we go. I don't need a uh, army tradition 6.8, naval tradition 79.7. I think that says a lot. Um, we'll call this the Ceylon fleet. Not Catlon, Ceylon. Because that's what it's... Uh, where it isn't anyway. Um, this this should become the Royal Army. Why it changed names? I do not know. So this is the Royal Army. Um, 
army of uh, army of uh, of Arcadia, army of Ireland, army of Alaska for now. Uh, Alaska, Alaska, Alad, Alaska. Jesus. Um, I think I will leave the army of Scotland as the army of Scotland because that's even better. This shall be the army of India. I know I can do that point. Army of India, but we're going for tech anyway on military. Uh, that's the army of Ceylon then. Alone for now. Then we have yes, the army, army of New. Uh, I don't think we can call. We don't have to call it New Zealand. Of New Wales. That's in Australia anyway, so. Accumulate money. Very nice. What is next? China, Lothian. Still not what I would like to do. At all. So we're not gonna. Um, yes, time to start the re. Oh, Venad. Actually, loses all resistance at all. Um, units. So, early frigates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Perfect. So that will be replacing this fleet. And you can now invest in naval drill. That's trade range. I still, oh yeah, I'm still gonna do the tack again. Also, um, town hall is that? That's not a special building, so I will build it. Um, West Arcade. Yeah, now I'm actually gonna look. West Arcadia would be twenty-one percent. Yes, we can have more. So we'll send in a bureaucrat. Back to the building. Town hall. More income. 3.4, yeah, that will pay, repay itself in 30 years. Useful nonetheless. Building lots and lots of trade. We also have a ton of barks, and I think I should replace the barks here first. Huh. Actually, a better idea. I mean, the other one has purely caravels, so. Ojibwa, oh, colonial migration. Some of our colonists have decided the current colony isn't very good. I have decided to move somewhere else. So, really bad timing, but. Yeah, so Eora is finished now, but it only had like 40 left. And Ojibwa is doing a lot longer. Balls. Oh well, it happens, I guess. We can now do the trade um, diplomacy idea. Still not gonna. Still going to think tech is better right now. Yes, merchant adventures. Um, courthouses are available all over Britain. Okay, country modifier. Eight natives expired. Oh, that's sad. Oh, we still have the fourth, ar fourth army. This should be the... Army of Victoria. I think that's one of the territories in Australia. Correct me if I'm wrong, of course. You're allowed to do that. Don't be mean about it, though, because that would be mean. Oh, everything but the kitchen sink, please. Now I feel like renaming our uh, main fleet the kitchen sink. Also, you can also go there. Okay, you can actually come home now. Okay, I will collect you all. And one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I don't have to count, just have to watch that I'm doing the barks first. Were that all the barks? Really? All the barks already? And I'll add the caravels as well, I guess. Actually, exactly right. So, huh. Okay, select this unit. Um, how is our maintenance looking with that? 57. Over force limit, 6.62. How can this be so much right now? 
Seriously, we shouldn't be pushing any trade into London regardless, so... Odd, I guess, but... 18.8, um, okay, we're gonna try for now with both fleets, but we're gonna let them separate um, the... Uh... Oh, hang on, we have a more, a more fun idea. The barks are going to patrol in uh, in Bordeaux and push seven trade into us from there. That is a much better idea. So right now I bet that just dropped again. Yeah, it did. And you guys go trade in um, Western Europe. So that should move twelve. Wow. I'm going to applaud myself for thinking of this. So, because of the amount, we're now pushing into London. I think that the extra cost for being over the force limit and having so many ships is going to be negated completely. Um, 13 colonies... is not over, so we can keep for now. And I will. This should only goes up by 1%. Oh, wow. Not that bad then. Okay, so now we have a trade income of 55. Holy crap, hola. Explorer George William Clarence is dead. Well, we'll just get a regular navy guy. And a, oh, a 606. I'm not complaining, but wow. Jacob Burgoyne. Not bad. And next up, now we're actually going to trade in our ships, finally. Three, four, five. Now we are going to trade in the ships we have sailing around in the North Sea node. Everything to um, large frigates, well, small frigates. And once we reach tech level 19, we're going to replace everything again. So, ooh, colony self-sustaining. And a month before they arrive as well. So, excellent. You guys go there. And you guys go there. Of course, we need to save them. Oh, we actually have Wirajuri, which we can also colonize. But it won't be as um, important to colonize it quickly. Because it's not on the coast. And it will... Su what? So, 10 years... Plus 15% efficiency. We're making a lot right now. Or... What? Oh, the 50 diplomatic power. That's what's so... Incredibly tempting here. Oh, 10 years, 15% efficiency. Um, trade. For 54 point... Our trade efficiency plus 40%. Uh, oh, this is so... Our embargoes are in Portugal, uh, Castile and Nor... Oh, I guess then... Crowns often granted trading companies exclusive rights to traffic goods in a region. When all police were granted in exchange for a lump sum payment and continuing revenues from the trader. First off, we're going to embargo France because they have us embargoed and that won't do. And there we go. We lost trade, Kaz's belly, I don't care. Crowns often grant trading companies the exclusive rights to traffic goods in a region. 2266. 12 ye 10 years, 120 payments. Um, 120 divided is 10, is around 19. So, but 15% efficiency is not worth 19 here. Why is our efficiency so low? Trade embargo. Oh, every embargo is actually. Oh, every embargo lowers our. Huh. Every embargo lowers our total trade efficiency. 
That's interesting. And isn't there something to be done about that? I'm not sure right now. Um, yeah, that's that's quite impressively annoying. Um, I think we don't have to embargo Norway anymore, though. I think we can definitely revoke this embargo. You know what? I'm going to demand payment right now. I think it's more income overall. Revoke this embargo. Increase our trade efficiency once again. Portugal uh, will embargo until the end of the game. Really. So... New technology. Administrative. Oh, sure, I'll take it. Uh, home from Norway. Glorious monument. Oh, prestige. Sure. So, trade efficiency. Yeah, embargo. Minus five. Oh, it's actually bigger. Ah, the more you have, the bigger it becomes. I guess. Interesting. Yeah, th these are all embargoing each other. Most part in Western Trade Node. Not in the Hudson Bay. That's the Euron. Caribbean is Portugal, but yeah, we don't have that much Caribbean. Ungrateful natives. Oh, no. Okay, our first ones are done. Um, these will have to go to Lothian. No, Lothian. Yeah, these are all done because we have, of course, different uh, buildings ready here. Missions. Spread our culture into Lothian. For 10 diplomatic power, we would have to spend 175. And what do we gain? Nothing. Scottish is an accepted culture because we're Britain. And so that's a bit bullshit to do. So we won't do that mission ever. I mean, and it's still Scotland. Um, gain prestige. I will actually gain, gladly gain the full sum of prestige here. I mean, look at our money. 3,000. It's not like we need it. Okay, so that lost us some, of course. Um, 25, that's not this one. Okay, this is the Bordeaux. I will rename this to the Bordeaux fleet. And this is actually the last things we're going to do today in this episode. This will be the North Sea Fleet. Sea Fleet. And Blue Squadron is the one that will be disbanded for this one. You get to go back here. You guys will start your trade run in North Sea. There we go. Should increase trade slightly. And once we have disbanded... Yeah, it has. Definitely has slightly increased it. But we'll disband these guys and then end the episode here. Because we've gone on long enough once again. This band unit no longer pay maintenance. 10 maintenance for those 25 ships, which is a lot. And we will slowly increase our force limit so our maintenance goes down actually as well. Anyway, I want to thank you all for uh, watching. Uh, it's uh, really great that you're watching and everything. So I really appreciate it. And yeah, we have been growing steadily. Um, colonies are doing perfectly fine. We almost have everything in Australia, at least the coastal areas, which are very important to maintain, because that uh, this allows others to colonize. And with others, it's uh, mostly Spain and Portugal. We'll just call it Spain, even though they have um, they are not even close to being completely Spain. I wonder when they'll go to war again. We're still allied with. Uh, Aragon, so it's not like they can't. I would like to know when they go to war so I can land my troops first and then just go in head on. No missions that we would like, so yeah, I guess the only thing left to say is I'll see you guys later.